Whilst the victory by the Broncos was rather unconvincing, they ultimately got the job done and sealed a top-four spot in the process. Conversely, despite the efforts of the Dragons, they found themselves on the wrong end of the scoreboard and remain outside of the eight after this round. Point one. Dragons season on life support Although the Dragons have spent the majority of 2017 in the top eight, they have found themselves outside the top eight for a few weeks now. It was a brave fight which they put up against a Broncos team who have only lost twice at their home ground. Epitomizing this is the statistics, which depict them having 55% possession, an 84% completion rate compared to 71% for the Broncos, missing fewer tackles and making few errors. Ultimately, however, it is the scoreline which matters the most. That is where the Broncos prevailed. This result ensures that the Dragons find themselves a victory outside of the eight, as they are two points behind the Sea Eagles and Cowboys, thereby increasing the importance of their remaining matches against the Panthers and Bulldogs. Point two. Broncos halves The difference eth factor which proved crucial to the Broncos' victory is the performance of their halves pairing, especially Anthony Milford. He has been criticized in the past for failing to step up, however, he demonstrated in this game that he is capable of making the game in his own. In this match, Milford had a major involvement in several of the Broncos' tries, such as the first of second rower Alex Glenn's two tries and winger Corey Oates' spectacular try. Moreover, Milford was rewarded with a try of his own, as well as finishing the match with 182 run meters and two line breaks. Point three. Ben Hunt preview for the Dragons in 2018 with regular halfback and stand-in hooker Ben Hunt bound for the Dragons at the conclusion of this season, it was an opportunity for him to display a preview to Dragons fans what he has in store for them, as well as Dragons fans to witness what Hunt has to offer. With his display in this match, Hunt certainly did not disappoint, as he latched onto an offload by Herman Essies prior to setting up a try for winger Jordan Kahu. Ever since he filled in for the regular hooker and workhorse Andrew McCullough, in the thrashing of southern Queensland neighbours the Titans, Ben Hunt has shown some of his best football since the 2015 season. Point four. Top four spot cemented for the Broncos The victory by the Broncos was unconvincing in that they finished with less possession 45%, compared to the Dragons 55%, completed less sets 71% of the Dragons 84%, missed more tackles 41-35, conceded more penalties 8-2 and made more errors 11-9. However, it is ultimately the final scoreline which matters the most, and that's where the Broncos finished in front. The victory ensures that they have cemented their place in the top four, especially with a vastly superior points differential of 172. Moreover, an advantage for them is that their remaining matches are both in Queensland, against the Eels and their injury depleted Queensland brothers, the Cowboys.5. Suncorp who do continues for the Dragons There was a time between 2003 and 2009, when the Dragons would be a bogey team for the Broncos, including matches at Suncorp Stadium. During that time, the Dragons would find themselves leaving Brisbane with a victory more often than not. However, their last victory came in the regular season of 2009, in which Broncos coach Wayne Bennett was the coach of the Dragons, during his three-year stint there. As such, they have not left the Sunshine State capital with a victory since point six. Dragons must now win remaining matches worth this loss the Dragons must now win the remaining matches, beginning next Sunday against the informed Panthers side at Penrith, and the final round against the struggling Bulldogs. Regarding the crunch match next Sunday, they may have won convincingly against the Panthers in their meeting earlier in the season, however that was in the first round and the fortunes of both the Dragons and the Panthers could not be more different this time around. Although the Bulldogs have been struggling throughout the season, they have no pressure to make the finals and have enough good players in their team to trouble even the best sides. Therefore they should also not be taken lightly. What were your highlights from the Broncos' big win over the Dragons? Let us know in the comments below. Want to share your opinion? Why not write for us? Previous post, previous, next post, next.